Here with some answers is the host of the Michael Savage Show podcast, our good friend, Dr. Michael Savage is with us. Dr. Savage, welcome. Well, your monologue was perfect. Uh, I could hardly add anything to it, including the fact that many of the victims appear to be Asians. Uh, and what you said about guns, of course, is where the liberals always go. But, you know, you're, I think you're missing something. And so is the media, a uh, uh, grant. And I, I'm sorry to have to admit it, but no matter who it turns out to have been the shooter, whether it's this uh, gentleman that they're showing the picture of, uh, you see, he is a victim of our, of our society, Grant. That's what it's going to come down to. He fell through the cracks of our mental health system. He wasn't given the care that was required for marginal individuals. And then again, of course, there's always all the white racism running around this society. It must have triggered this. Or it could have been the Wuhan virus. Or it could have been BLM, for exa example. But you're not going to hear about that. BLM's hate fest that's been go going on now for a couple of years. You don't think that triggers these lunatics? I do. So what's the solution? We're all talking about what happened. Simple. Metal detectors on subways. Arrest fair jumpers immediately. No more revolving doors for criminals. No more coddling of BLM, media, uh, hate fest and lies. And of course, we have to say it like it is. There is an epidemic of minority crime in New York City and other cities run by Democrats. We've all turned away from the bats in the head the golf clubs in the head, the old ladies being knocked down, and of course, the Asians were being targeted. I must tell you a story, Grant. I was in a restaurant not too long ago, and I was talking with my wife about the fact that most of the crimes against Asians are being conducted by one particular race, period. A man at the next table in his liberal restaurant got up to argue with me. He was offended by it, because he doesn't see the news in San Francisco. He assumes it's guys who look like you who are beating up old Asian women. They don't even know what's going on in this country, Grant. That's how crazy yeah. this is. Well, which is why I called out the fact, Dr. Savage, that, that the police commissioner there couldn't even call out the possibility that this could be an Asian hate crime happening in a large Asian community and most of the victims being Asian. She wouldn't even acknowledge that. We talk about guns, too. I want to play a soundbite from uh, the, the new mayor here in New York. Instead of taking exactly what you said, making them take responsibility for their actions, these criminals, these thugs, what does he do? He blames an inanimate object, a gun. Watch this. A country with buying weapons of mass destruction is as easy as picking up a piece of plywood or a garden shovel. From schools in Columbine, Sandy Hook in Virginia, to music festivals in Las Vegas, to nightclubs, these killers have used weapons of mass destruction to massacre innocent people. Now, Dr. Savage, he should be embarrassed. He's a former police officer, and he calls a pistol a weapon of mass destruction. I'll tell you what a weapon of mass destruction is. It's chemical weapons. It's a nuclear bomb. You name it. But it is not a Glock. Well, Mayor Adams was a hope for all of us when he was elected. We were hoping that an African-American man who had been a New York Police Department captain would know better than what he has become. In the beginning, all he did was appear in another three to $5,000 sport coat every day, thinking it was all a variety show where he was gonna become a new hero uh, with perfect clothing for a new movie. This is a tough job. It's gonna take more than rhetoric to stop it. And the fact of the matter is, there are reasons that these unhinged people are going off like skyrockets. And of course, we have to stop BLM's media hate fest and lies. We have to stop the Democrat Socialists of America, that is the communist vermin, from attacking the police every time there's an incident like this. Do you know what they did today right after this, Grant? The Socialists of America, their little chapter in New York, the little communist uh, cell there under occasional cortex, who has a, a bigger uh, half a brain of my parakeet, occasional cortex's minions said it was the police's fault because they didn't stop this before it happened. These are the people who said defund the police. The police did this, police did that. This never would happen if the police were empowered to stop and frisk people who look suspicious. I don't care what their race is. I don't care if they look like a man on the yeah. moon. There are people who look suspicious who should be stopped, period. Yes, absolutely. Dr. Well, Savage, the hoodies, as who always, runs around in a subway car exactly with a hoodie. Exactly as it should be laid out. Yeah, um, when they got their whole face covered up, and now they got masks in the name of COVID to hide themselves thank as well. Thank you. Dr. Savage, thank you, thank you as always. Terrible day. Great day.